here with reaction. Florida Congressman Matt Gates. So, Congressman, enough with these people, you know what I mean? Hey, if it gets any weirder in Washington, Jesse, we're going to have to build a wall around Congress and then <laughs> pad the insides of that wall. But, you know, you focus on all the weird things that liberals are doing. Remember, this past week was Valentine's Day week, so love was in the air. I even uh, got to wish a happy Valentine's Day to AOC. And I hope that she finds love that burns so bright that it's uh, <laughs> illegal under the carbon emissions of the standards of the Green New Deal. So, did you send AOC like a little card or did you give her one of those little candies that say I love you? I, I just told her that, you know, my love for her was so rich that she'd probably <laughs> want to tax it at 70 <laughs> percent. I mean, Republicans love AOC. She's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, let's go to another gift that keeps on giving. Andrew McCabe, certified liar. Mm -hmm. He gave mm -hmm. a big interview on 60 Minutes because he needs to make money and sell books because he's probably going to go to jail. And this is what he said, basically admitting that he was investigating the president of the United States early on. Roll it. I met with the team investigating the Russia cases, and uh, I asked the team to go back and conduct an assessment to determine where are we with these efforts and what steps do we need to take going forward. I was very concerned that I was able to put the Russia case on absolutely solid ground in an indelible fashion that were I removed quickly or reassigned or fired, that the case could not be closed or uh, vanish in the night without a trace. So Trump fires James Comey, which the Democrats would have done if Hillary were elected. And this guy, McCabe, launches a counterintelligence investigation against the president of the United States, an obstruction investigation against the president of the United States, and then starts rounding up other administration officials to see if they could invoke the 25th Amendment administrative coup, and talking with other high-ranking officials about wiring themselves to speak to the president and secretly record him. Is this the deep state? This is an admission he's deep state. It most certainly is. A year ago, I said that there were unelected bureaucrats planning a coup against the president who was duly elected. The mainstream media widely panned me for those comments. And now that very same mainstream media is covering the fact that Andrew McCabe is saying that unelected bureaucrats were conspiring to oust the president of the United States. You'll also remember that Jim Baker, who was the top lawyer at the FBI, confirms McCabe's accounts and says that Rosenstein did want to wear a wire on the president. And you'll also remember that Peter uh, Strzok and Lisa Page were texting each other 10 months into the investigation that there was no there there. There was no evidence of collusion. And McCabe's admission is crazy. He wanted to establish an investigation that was unclosable, even if there was no evidence. That's not justice. That's a politicized FBI. All right. And the Senate Intelligence Committee, after two years, just came back with their report on Russian interference and so-called collusion, found no collusion between Trump and Russia. And you know what the networks did? They never even covered it. Absolute blackout. Now, one of the other reasons we had you on besides your amazing analytical skills, Congressman, is because your last name is kind of ridiculous. Uh, it's G-A-E-T-Z. It's pronounced Gates, but no one knows how to say that. I'll tell them it's Gates. I wanted to rattle off a few Democrats running for president, and I want you to see if you can pronounce their names correctly, because no one else can. Now, Kamala Harris. Is it Kamala Harris or Kamala Harris? What do you think? I think it's you better not uh, get too comfortable with your private insurance, <laughs> Harris, because she's going to end it. Uh, Kamala? Is it Kamala? It's Kamala. That is correct. Nice. Okay. Kamala, right. like, uh, like the punctuation. Moving on. Uh, who is the senator from New York? The, uh, the blonde, not Chuck Schumer. Uh, the other one. It's Kirsten Gillibrand. You nailed it. How did you nice. know that? Kirsten, not well, I mean, Kirsten. I feel like we should pay her some attention because the <laughs> national media never does when they talk about serious contenders for the presidency. So I know. we should at least get her name right. I know. This is the most press she's ever gotten on Waters World right here. Right. All right. So Kirsten Gillibrand, not Gillibrand. It's a soft G. Now, the Minnesota woman who apparently throws shoes at her staff, Amy. Snow Globe Klobuchar? <laughs> Klobuchar. 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 
I had too much shear on the shar. Yeah, too much shear. Okay, Klobuchar. That that no one's going to ever get that name wrong. Right. Moving well, on. Well, no Ready? one's also going to vote for her, so I don't think it'll be too That's much. That's true. Of a miss. They're only going to be mispronouncing her name for a very short period of time. That's uh, right. Until the Iowa State Fair. That, that's right. Now, John Hinken. Hinken Looper. Uh, you don't H even know who Hinken that Looper? is. Hinken Yes. Hinken John Looper. Hinken That's the Looper. governor in Colorado, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's, that's we don't right. know if he's hey, high or got, not. They got so much legal cannabis in uh, Colorado, <laughs> nobody's going to be able to pronounce that name. <laughs> that's right. The good thing he's not a write-in. He wouldn't get any votes. <laughs> that's right. All right. Last one. Now, this tripped me up because I've been pronouncing this guy's name wrong from the jump. It's Beto O'Rourke, not Beto. It's Beto. Did you even know that? Uh, I did. I was on uh, committees with Beto, and he, Beto, decide whether or not he's going to run for president <laughs> or not because the field's getting pretty crowded. Okay, and then lastly, you know, the senator from, uh, I think it's Ohio, Brown is the last name. Is it Sherrod? Is it Sherrod? Do you know? Sherrod Brown? Sherrod Brown. Brown. You know, yes. you're better. You know, I know why you, you did so well is because everybody mangles your name. So you have to really get everybody else's name I, right. I try to remind them. It's like open gates, Jesse. Right. Easy to remember. All right. Matt Gates, there he is, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.